morning we're gonna do a short video on uh, the easiest way to ever build a raised bed or a garden box or whatever you want to call it in the past a lot of people probably do this but in the past I've always built these you know the the hinged or nailed together box you know that's what pretty much everybody does but check this out so at Home Depot I was looking for dirt uh, getting some new soil for this bed and I found that look how easy that is it's two dollars and ninety eight cents for each one and uh, it's got a little hole in the middle so you can stake it down if you want but uh, you just gotta buy the boards to fit in there and it's four way so now like for example if I wanted to branch out this way just get another board and then that becomes the backboard for the next one or in the case of what I'm gonna do which is on this side I'm gonna put another I think that's eight feet so one foot by eight feet and um, this is the other thing by the way this is two bricks there's one there another one you stack them and you can go as high as you want um, but that's one foot right there so but I uh, I'm gonna add another 8 to 12 foot section here and and do my greens box right now there's some seed down here I uh, just planted it yesterday so you're not gonna see anything but a whole bunch of carrots uh, some lettuce right in here and then some greens back there over there is like some big stuff tomatoes bell pepper one I think that's a zucchini we did got some cilantro that's last year's um, broccoli it really didn't do anything I'm not sure what to do with that yet but so if you're looking for an easy way this is called a planter uh, block planter block uh, they sell these at Home Depot in the brick section uh, take a look at them they're out there now I don't think they're year-round I think this is just a seasonal thing they carry but a planter wall block um, for $2.98 so uh, take a look at it definitely it's the easiest thing I've ever seen now I can imagine that you could probably duplicate this at some level with some bricks you know you can you stack some bricks on this side and this side and then you can just kind of get the wood to stay still for the season but this is real stable I mean if you bury it um, around the edges it'll be even more stable so but all on its own I haven't done anything and see it's just it's just the weight of it holding it and uh, man that just made it so easy so no more nailing and using brackets and all that other crap just get these blocks stack them as high as you want it deep um, I use Douglas fir uh, wood planks for 10 bucks a piece had them cut one of them to make the three foot wide section and then um, of course just left those alone but man I mean now I can go all the way down this way and continue along here um, just transferring some water out of the barrels yesterday so got some random crap laying around but pretty cool and uh, just makes it the easiest thing ever so if you're looking for a, a quick way to build a, a raised garden or a box garden or whatever you want to call it this is the ticket right here so about let's just say three dollars a piece you know so somewhere around twelve dollars um, for four of them twenty four for the set what I paid you know total so get some wood so for about let's see um, give or take forty bucks forty forty five dollars depending on what wood you buy you can have a nice raised garden that's real stable and will last as long as you don't break those it'll uh, go season to season and all you really got to do if anything is replace the wood but I got these really thick planks so that should go for at least two or three years uh, without needing anything new so pretty cool worked great 
Uh, if you have any questions about it or anything like that, uh, let me know. But this is definitely a very easy way to build that garden. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how well it does, but I, I think it's going to hold up just fine. Alright guys, have a great day.